it's unbelievable to have an opportunity to vote for yourself, but also the incredible um, Democrats that are running in 2016. So I love casting my vote for Hillary Clinton, who I've endorsed openly, and for Chris Van Hollen, who I've endorsed openly. And then amazing to be able to uh, vote for, I think, uh, working women, working families by casting a vote for Kathleen Matthews for Congress. We've had a great week of incredible weather and amazing turnout in the early voting. And ironically, I think actually the controversy over closing some of the early voting centers, uh, including the Jane Lawton Community Center here, put a lot of attention on the fact that you can vote early. And so I've heard that the uh, turnout here and across the uh, 8th Congressional District has been unbelievable. I think that represents probably the fact that we're going to have very high turnout on Tuesday, April 26. And I think that's because you have a very important presidential election. You have a open seat um, uh, in the uh, U.S. Senate to replace Barbara Mikulski. And you also have an open seat here in the 8th Congressional District. So people want to make sure that they get the voice and the representation uh, that this area deserves. There are nine people running for U.S. Congress, and that's no surprise given the fact that it's an open seat uh, being vacated by Chris Van Hollen, uh, who's running for the Senate. Um, we have been in this race for 11 months. We've been fighting hard for every single vote, and that's what we're going to do over the next five days. It's why I did early voting, so I could get my voting out of the way, so I could focus on the voters and trying to win every vote, and we take nothing for granted. Uh, we've been an early front runner in this race, but it's going to be a very highly contested and close election right down to the wire. And any final words to any of those who have yet to vote uh, and pretty much were waiting to vote on uh, April 26th? This election, I think, could be decided by a vote or just a few votes at every level. And so every vote counts. And we fought hard for voting rights in this country, and people shouldn't take that for granted. And if we could see super high voter turnout this year, I think it'll send a signal to the Congress, to the country, that we want to take our country back, we want to stop the gridlock, we want to get things done, and that we're going to be uh, there as a progressive voice for the country.